Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it has been like a hot minute since I filmed a makeup tutorial. The past two videos I did were both with Kaylin, my fiance. Um, I just literally had like no time to film at all, so I'm finally doing it today. <laughs> Starting off with bang with this um, really colorful eye look. When I started I was thinking it was gonna be like a kind of like a sunset type eye like I was hoping to have like reds and like oranges and like a little bit of yellow but I don't really have all those in my collection so I kind of just worked with what I had I have like some reds and pinks golds and I have like a um, purple under lash line um, yeah so if you want to see how I got this super crazy colorful sunset type eye look then just keep watching alrighty so we're starting with the face before we go in with the eyes and I'm gonna start it with priming my face using the benefit the professional matte rescue and smashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer okay next for foundation uh, shocker I'm going in with the covergirl ready set gorgeous foundation I really really do want to use a new and different foundation so if you guys have any recommendations at all please let me know um, I mean I want something that's not too heavy or cakey um, but that does have a good coverage and is good for oily skin so oily skin girls out there if you have any recommendations for a good foundation high end or drugstore please let me know and next I finally got my hands on the beloved Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you know that the Tarte Shape Tape is not available in Sephora, so it's a little more difficult for us to get it in Canada. Um, I ordered it on the Tarte website when they had a day of free shipping, so I bought two, um, and I uh, don't regret it at all. I will most likely keep repurchasing it. It's raved about for all the right reasons. Um, doesn't look cakey, blurs out your pores, it just looks amazing. It's just so annoying now because I found a good concealer that's so hard to get so I'm gonna have to pay a buttload of shipping every time or buy like $75 with the Tarte products so either way I'm spending a lot of money for this concealer. Tea break. Okay next I'm gonna set the whole face using the Maybelline Better Skin Powder. This is a really good powder and it is pretty neck and neck with the L'Oreal True Match powder that I, that was my ride or die and then I was like everyone's raving about this powder, let me try it. It's really good and I haven't bought the L'Oreal one since but I feel like I have to just to, to compare it more but they're both just so good. Alright so I have another product that I paid a butt ton of money for, the infamous Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I mean, it definitely is better than the um, NYC one that I was using, mostly in terms of the fact that it had like glitter in it, and this one is completely matte, which is perfect. Everyone also says that the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, depending on your skin type, doesn't always need to be set, because um, it doesn't necessarily really crease, and it actually doesn't. I didn't really... I used it once and I didn't bake, I kind of just like lightly set it with another powder, um, which worked fine, it didn't crease on me. The only reason why I really bake is because I am oily and it helps the oil stay away for a longer period of time. <laughs> and while my face is baking, I'm going to move on to eyebrows um, using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's a good dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I feel like I need to try new brow products too. I mean, the pencil is good, but even just for like the tail of the brow, I feel like I need something different. I was using the Milani Brow Pomade, which was fine, it was good, did the job. I feel like I need to try the Benefit um, eyebrow products though, because you know, they're raved about probably for good reasons. <laughs> okay, eyebrows are on, and before I wipe away the speck, I'm gonna quickly contour my cheekbones using the Anastasia Contour Kit and using the shade Fawn. Okay, time to wipe away the bake. Okay, for bronzer, going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Let's warm up that face. I am 
feeling my makeup today. I think I'm, I think it's gonna be a good makeup day. Okay, next for blush. Um, you know what? I haven't used this one in a while. I'm gonna go in with this. A light. I'm gonna go in with the um. What is this called? The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is one of the uh, splits that Jaclyn Hill helped create. So half of it is um, her highlighter Prosecco Pop, and I'm gonna go in with this blush, which is called Pomplamousse. Mmm. 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 -mm. All right, let's move on to highlight. You know what? I might go in with that same highlight from that split pan. Prosecco Pop. I don't know, I'm going to do like a reddy orangey eye with like hopefully some gold glitter, so I think a gold highlight may suffice with the look. Can you guys even see it? Man, again, if I had like ring lights or something, then I could be like all those other YouTubers, which just like you're being blinded right now, but. I just have a living room window with like natural overcast light, so <laughs> we work with what we have, alright? Okay, so time to move on to the eyes. I'm going to start out with priming using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, just like the original one, and then I'm just going to set it. I know in a lot of my tutorials I basically use like the same like eyeshadow palettes and shit, like I really want to go buy more, but my birthday is coming up and uh, my family is one of those families that still make like birthday lists and Christmas lists and shit just because it makes it so much easier. Um, and we have a rule that if your birthday is coming up, you're not really allowed to buy anything or, <clears throat> or things that are on your list before your birthday because then it like, messes everything up. What if someone already bought one of those things for you? And me, obviously, I have a lot of makeup on my list and so I'm not really allowed to buy any of it in case someone buys it for me for my birthday. So I'm patiently waiting. All right, that being said, I'm going in with my Tarte in Bloom palette, which I mean, this is so good. Like I can't not go in with it anyway. So <laughs> so pretty. I'm just gonna go in with this one for a couple of transitional shades. I think I'm just gonna start out going in with Smarty Pants. Smarty Pants, yeah. Yeah, smarty pants. I'm gonna start with that one. Sweeping that all up in the crease, giving it a little bit of depth, and making sure all the colors that I put on top blend fabulously. I also want like new brushes to play with, like new um, eyeshadow brushes and shit to like play with and test out, but like. Just like so much I want and like so little money, you know, you know what I mean? I also have like no idea what I'm doing today, so like eye-wise, so we're all in this together. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Coastal Scents 78 Shadow and Blush palette. So many colors to choose from! I already did, um my mermaid halo eye using this palette, all these fun little bluey green shades in the middle. I can link that down below. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with this kind of like rosy red shade here. Let's hope this turns out well. Oh, that's a lot more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I'm blend basically blending this on top of that transition shade, but not bringing it higher than that transition shade. Just keeping it a little bit lower. Just make sure it's nice and blended. Man, I always have like one spot on this eye. I don't even know if you can see it, like right in this area. That doesn't really take pigment. No matter how much I pack on and I blend it away. It just Can you see it? Why? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with like this bright pink here and kind of just sweep that underneath the red. Okay. Just make sure to blend after every step. You know the drill. 
So I'm gonna go straight in with the lid color right now. I'm gonna put on um, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk um, as a base so that the color can be more vibrant. I mean, even if I just did white, I feel like that could look good. But that's not the look I'm going for, but it still kinda looks good. Yeah. Okay, moving on. I'm going to be using this um, gold shade that is basically more of like a yellowy under gold gold under yellowy um <laughs> I'm going to be using this gold yellow golden shade I'm a fan um so I think I'm going to go in with this little guy right there and just run it under like under mm, under my lash line okay I think on the very outer corner on the under eye I'm going to go in with this like really dark. It looks kind of navy on camera, but it's basically just like a really, really dark bluey purple just to give the outer corner a little bit of dimension and some more depth. I'm going to blend it out with that same first purple shade. Okay, to finish up the top lid, I think I'm just, I'm going to just like blend out the edges and kind of pack on some more color on the outer corners. Honestly, when I started this look, I was like, in my head, I'm like, okay, like, sunset eye, like, this isn't even what I envisioned, but it still works, like, it's makeup. It was really, <laughs> this is really fun. Like, obviously, you're not gonna really, like, wear this anywhere, but it's really fun to just create stuff like this. I'm gonna highlight um, the inner corner of my eye and the brow bone using that same Prosecco Pop highlighter. Um, I'm going to be going in and just setting my face. I'm going to set my brows using the Essence Make Me Brow. Okay, and I'm going to go in and curl my lashes and use my Lash Sensational Mascara. And then I'm going in with the Ardell Glamour Lashes because they're the most dramatic lashes I have for a look like this. Before, <clears throat> before I put my lashes on, I want to go in with this NYX uh, Liquid Crystal Liner in the gold and just put it on um, the gold eyeshadow just to give it more of a pop. I think that was a good decision. <laughs> okay, lashes are on. Um, so obviously for the lip, I'm going to keep it pretty nude so as not to distract from the eyes. I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild's Bear It All. Please disregard my uh, crusty looking lashes. They actually are like pretty old, so I should probably toss these out as soon as this video is done. I'm probably gonna go buy more today. All right guys, this is the eye look complete. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, don't forget to like him, like him, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.